one very important, most important in this country to raise. Not only do we have to protect the lives of 291 members of parliament who have appended their signature there, we must also protect the system. The IG must protect our president to the hilt. Because you know the kind of a constitution we have. Any reckless thug can decide to change the course of history if, God forbid, anything were to happen to our president. You get my point? And there are people who we have been so worried lately, I get the feeling that they can even have the capacity to plan something like that. Let us make sure this information goes out. We, our president must be protected to the hilt until this motion is over. Because if, God forbid, anything were to happen, then we have something much bigger to worry about. Thank you. Ichunga. And those guys are... You're the last one, that. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. My Honorable Speaker, if you will indulge me, I'll add something on security. But before that, is on standing order 85, Honorable Speaker. 85-2, which Honorable Speaker would beg, even as you guide members, that members listen, that it shall be out of order to anticipate the debate of a motion of which notice has been given by discussion upon a substantive motion or amendment and all that that is said in the standing orders, Honorable Speaker. And I say this, Honorable Speaker, because I know we are in an open and transparent society and many of us will be invited to media stations to discuss this impeachment motion which notice has been given today. Just to caution members that it will be completely out of order to discuss the substance of the motion in media stations before debate as uh, is contained in our standing orders. So when we're invited to media stations, maybe we'll be guarded in what we discuss yes. so that we do not go into the substance of the motion until we are done with debate. After debate, Honorable Speaker, we are all at liberty to discuss, and that includes, Honorable Speaker, both those who have appended the signatures, their signatures, like myself, and the other few who have not appended their signatures, Honorable Speaker. The 58 members who have not appended their signatures. And Honorable Speaker, just to add on to what the Honorable Farah and Honorable uh, Junette have said, Honorable Speaker, the security of members of parliament is paramount. And Honorable Speaker, I say that looking at you, because you know on the 25th of June this year, Honorable Speaker, none other than yourself, you are a target, and you know that. And not a target for harm, but a target for elimination based on the position you hold as Speaker and the ranking order should anything happen to the President or the Deputy President, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I want to beg that you take with a little more weight the issues raised by Honorable Junette and Honorable Farah Malim because, Honorable Speaker, we have seen it on social media. We have been told by certain quarters that before March of 2025, they say, Bendera itapepea mulingoti nusu. Honorable Speaker, these are weighty issues. And I hear what the Honorable Farah Malim is saying on the security of the President, and we have no business to advise the Inspector General and the Director of the National Intelligence Service on what to do. But for members of this House, all the 349 of them, Honorable Speaker, you must direct the Inspector General of Police, who was approved by this House less than a month ago, to ensure that when this House is sitting within the precincts of Parliament, and even outside and including committees of this House sitting, Honorable Speaker, members are secured. Thank you. And even in their homes, Honorable Speaker, they are secured. Because, Honorable Speaker, I say this, being privy to the information that I was privy to and you are privy to on the 25th of June, and knowing, Honorable Speaker, that as Honorable Judet has said, we are not dealing with an ordinary matter, we are not dealing with an ordinary man, we are dealing with a black man with a very black heart. Thank you, Honorable Speaker.
Order, honorable members. Order. Order, members on their feet. Order, David Speaker. Take your seat. Take your seats, those who are there. Honorable members, those points raised, I'll address them later in the day. I want to direct members of the House Business Committee to retreat to Room 9 so that we can have House Business Committee to address, among other things, the process of disposing of this motion in the shortest time possible so that we don't maintain anxiety unnecessarily. And the issues that you have raised about public participation and others. So after the House Business Committee, the Speaker will come back to the House at about five and give you direction on what we shall do from here going forward. So I'll now direct the Deputy Speaker to come and take the seat.